Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than my normal western model type videos and today I'm going to be making a tutorial on specifically booth models. Now this is a different side of the community I decided to step into and like always whenever I'm learning something new with avatar creation I always want to put it out there and share with you guys. This is also for all of my booth model friends out there who are stepping into this and want to know a good place to start. So I wanted to start there for you. Now today we're going to be learning about adding clothing to booth models specifically through the Unity program. I need to put a huge disclaimer out there that this method does not work for western style models. This only works with booth models and the way I'm going to be teaching you is with booth model that has clothes made for that specific model. This is not teaching you how to put clothes made for a different model onto a different base. It is one base that has clothes made for that base. This works for all bases around but the clothes have to be made for this specific base. Now I'm going to try to link everything I am using in the video within the comment section or the description and not everything else you see in here since this has been my open project for the longest time and I did not feel like opening a new project for this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. The model that I'm using here today is Celestia. Again, that will be linked in the description. So let's get into this. Now, as you can see here, these are my specific edits of Celestia. They range very different from each other and all of this is done in unity and you might be like wow how in the world did you change the outfit so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to booth you are going to want to find your model that you are using and you are going to want to find clothing made for that specific base once you have that do the usual import everything into unity that you are going to be using for this project if you do not know the basics i definitely recommend checking out some other amazing channels who have made basics on avatar importing now we are going to go to the prefabs and we are going to find the prefab of our model here. So for me, it's going to be the Celestia Little Tune. You might have some different options with different shaders, but I'm just going to be using the one that I specifically want. We're going to drag my model all the way over here so you can see side by side the comparison here. So uh, these are my two models and you can tell that the clothes on this one are very different from the original. So we are going to want to get it to just a different clothing to be a little bit different from the original. Now the first thing that we're going to want to do is in the hierarchy system we are going to want to find the main model, the one we are going to be editing here. We are going to want to pull down the drop down so we see all of this here. Now this is where things get a little bit tricky. You are going to want to right click your avatar and the hierarchy and then click unpack prefab. What's that going to allow us to do is to move things within the hierarchy system itself to delete things from the model, whatever we want to do here. Now from here, we need to delete everything we do not want on this model anymore. If you don't plan on making it a toggle, remove it from the avatar. It'll save you time, it'll save you optimization, I know my booth friends care about that. Just remove it from the avatar if you can. So we are going to go and we are going to control left click everything that we don't want. So the gloves, the stockings, the mane, the shoes. Let's do hair accessory and we'll just keep everything else on for now. We're going to right click and then click delete. All of that stuff is going to move itself from my avatar. Now, if your avatar is anything set like mine, you are going to notice it has something called blend shapes where it's like, well, where are the elbows? Where are the knees? Those are made to disappear for clipping issues, for clipping reasons. The all avatars on booth I find have these so to fix this we are going to click on the body 
and there's going to be a tab on the left hand side that is normally pulled up that says blend shapes. We are going to pull, or the right hand side, sorry. We are going to pull down the blend shapes tab and we are going to scroll and look for anything that has been set to 100 to 50, anything that is scrolled up. For me, it's going to be the shrink elbow. I'm going to drag that all the way down so the elbows appear and then it's going to be the shrink knees. You're going to drag that all the way up. I also have removed the stockings, but you can see that the thighs here are still squished in. So I can drag down the stocking blend shape and the legs are normal. Now, in the circumstance that you do want to use these is some outfits do require you to activate blend shapes so stuff isn't clipping. If you notice clipping and there's nothing you can do to change it, I recommend looking for a blend shape to see if there is one. Now that we have all of this set up, we are going to set up the outfit. So for me, I'm just going to randomly drag an outfit that I own here. And my outfit is all the way over here. So we're going to drag it all the way back over to Celestia here. And we're going to want to make sure here that our x-axis on both the outfit and the avatar are lined up. Another easy way to do this is to drag and drop the outfit prefab directly on to the avatar prefab and it should line up whatever is easiest for you. So now that everything here is lined up and we're looking and we're like, okay, nothing is clipping here. I don't see anything shown. I don't have to shrink anything. I am ready to add this outfit. Now, if you hadn't already dragged your outfit prefab on top of your avatar prefab, do that. It's going to attach itself to your avatar. So when you're moving it around in Unity, it is all attached to the avatar. The next thing that you want to do is do the same thing you did at the very beginning of this video, and that is right click the outfit prefab that is going to be highlighted in blue. If it's blue, you don't want it blue. You are going to go unpack prefab. Therefore, it's going to turn gray and you are able to move everything. Click the drop down and you are going to see a bunch of different stuff here. You are going to see your outfit parts for almost all outfits have the different outfit parts. Different outfits have blend shapes, meaning let's say you're, you had made the breasts on your avatar bigger, make sure you are lining that outfit blend shape to be exactly the same, just so it's all lining up. It's very, very important that you do that. Sometimes outfits have different blend shapes to help do different things for it. It's just, it's something that you got to learn to experiment with just so you know that everything is lining up with your avatar. Once you have everything lined up, you have breast size matching, you have any other body parts shrunk or enlarged to fit your outfit. Next is attaching this outfit to your avatar. So where it says armature, you are going to drop it down once. From here, this is a matching game. Think of it as a matching game. You want everything to match each other. So you have armature for your outfit and an armature for your avatar. Drop down that armature for your avatar once. And now what you're going to notice is the outfit has hips. Your avatar has hips. Drag the outfit armature on top of the exact armature on your avatar, meaning hips is going to line up with hips. You see butt L here, if I drop that down twice, it has two. I'm going to drag up butt L to butt L, it's going to drop up, butt L end is going to go to butt L end. You are going to do that with every single one of these armatures that lines up. Assuming that you have something on here that does not line up with your avatar, let's say back ribbon. These are the bones for the back ribbon on my outfit but obviously that isn't on the original avatar. Do not move those. Do not touch them. Do not move them. Do not do anything with them. From there, what's going to end up happening is it's just going to lock into where it needs to be and everything is going to be locked. Now, this is a very important part of what I find booth avatars. So once you have your outfit all attached to the armature, and I'm not going to spend time doing that with this, I'm going to show you with this avatar specifically. At the middle top, the top of the middle of your screen, click this big play button. 
from here, you are going to find the avatar that you tested. So right now I'm going to use this avatar right here. You are going to make sure that in the right hand side of the controller, there is no FX layer. It says none runtime animator controller. If there is something there, click it, press delete. We just want that so your avatar is standing upright straight like this and not down like this. This is what we do not want right now. So from here, we can test our avatar. We can drop down the armature and we can drop down everything. Let's click hips first of all. From here, we're going to press E on our keyboard. That's going to give us this little rotation ball. And now from here, we can test different things. Let's do spine then. We can test different things to make sure that our clothing is indeed attached to our avatar, that it's indeed there, that it's not being weird or anything, that it's not awkwardly clipping. You can't mimic real full body movements in Unity that easily, but this is like the best way to see that your clothing is attached, that my clothes are matching with the breasts and everything else, and it's not doing anything wonky. Now, there is also a big issue when it comes to booth avatars and adding clothing. If you have added clothing to a booth avatar, specifically to female booth avatars, so for my male booth avatar users, you can skip this part of the tutorial. For my female booth avatar users, you may notice that when you attach the clothing to your avatar, with Fizzbone specifically, the breasts may stop moving. They may be completely just stop moving. It's just not working the way it would. So for this one where they were moving, you may notice they're just stiff. They're just not working. So this is an easy fix for specifically the avatars that I own that do this are Celestia and Maya. I can only assume that if it's with these two, it's going to be with others. My best recommendation for you to fix this issue is to find the breast bones to your avatar. So let's hopefully I can find these relatively quickly here. We're gonna go to spine and chest. We're gonna find our breast L and breast R. We are going to control click both of those and only those two. Now from here, we're going to look to the right hand side where it says multi child type. Where it says multi child type, you do not want that to say ignore. You want to click that drop down and click average. What that's going to do is allow the movements back into the bones. Now from here, I totally recommend messing with limits. Limits, I find, make some dynamic bones or fizz bones a little bit wonky. So if you're messing with the limits, definitely go with that. If you're looking for more flowy waterbed type movements, get rid of the limits. It's what I personally do. At this point from here, your bones can move again and you play around with them to your liking. Now, there isn't much else. Sometimes this does happen with the butt as well. So do the same steps with the butt so that everything works. Now, once you know that everything on your avatar works here, that everything is lined up, there is one last step I urge everybody to do when adding clothes to the avatar. If your original clothes had any form of fizz bones, dynamic bones, any form of bones, find them and remove them. So if we are going to pull up the original Celestia here, so let's pull her all the way over here. If I click on her, you can tell here that her skirt has all of these dynamic bones. But I deleted this dress, right? I deleted the dress, it doesn't exist anymore. But you can see all of these dynamic bones for an outfit that isn't there. Somewhere in the armature where those bones are gonna be attached to are those bones. Find them, delete them. It can be hair bones, hat bones, skirt bones, ribbons, anything. Remove them. It'll save you optimization. It'll save you frames. So for me, I can see skirt root here, which is all the skirt bones. I'm just going to right click that. I'm going to click delete. They are gone from my project. My project is that much more optimized and that less bones in the project. 
Now, I really hope that this helped everyone here, that it gave a little bit of insight on a different style of model, a different way of customizing models, because I definitely know for my Western users that these options aren't readily available for you without Blender. So if you are looking to get into some fun model creation through a program such as Unity, this is definitely the way to go, a fun way to go. The creators are amazing, very sweet, and I just all hope you have a great day.